All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of using change of variables and uh, multiple integrals. And in this case, we're going to do a double integral example. So this is kind of the basic formula. Um, we have to basically do sort of a, a substitution is the idea. We also have to multiply by the absolute value of the Jacobian. And this is going to be a formula to calculate the Jacobian. And what we're going to do is basically just find the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix. So um, we're going to evaluate here this double integral x minus 3y over the region r. And r is going to be the triangular region that has vertices at 0, 0, 2, 1, and 1, 2. And we're going to use these transformations x equals 2u plus v and y equals uh, u plus 2v. So when we calculate this, this, uh, this Jacobian, we take the partial of x with respect to u the partial of x with respect to v. We'll take the partial of y with respect to u, and also the partial of y with respect to v. And if we calculate that, let's see, if we take the partial derivative of x with respect to u, we're simply going to get 2. If we take the partial of x with respect to v, well, um, we'll simply be left with positive 1. The partial of y with respect to u is going to give us a positive 1. And then the partial of y with respect to v is going to give us positive 2. So we can compute this by taking 2 times 2, which is 4, and subtracting away the product of 1 times 1, which is just 1. So we'll get uh, 3 in that case. And, you know, when we fill it in, we take the absolute value of this number, but, and I'll write it that way, but clearly the absolute value of 3 here is just 3. In our formula, um, in, our, in our integrand, again, we've got that um, we're, we're integrating x minus 3y, but again, we said that x was 2u plus v, and we said that y is going to be the transformation u plus 2v, so if we simplify this x minus 3y, I'm just going to replace. So x is going to be 2u plus v minus 3 times our y value. Uh, and there we're getting u plus 2v. And we can simplify this down. That's 2u plus v minus 3u minus 6v. So let's see here. I'm getting um, simply, we'll get, uh, so 2u minus 3u is negative u. Positive v minus 6v is going to be negative 5v. So that's what I'm now going to be. That's the function that I'm going to be integrating. Instead of x minus 3y, I'm going to be integrating negative u minus 5v. OK, so I know that much now. Um, our, our new integrand is going to be negative u minus 5v. We take the absolute value of the Jacobian. So I'm going to put it in absolute value just to emphasize that. Obviously, again, the absolute value of 3 is just 3. And then I can integrate with respect to u or with respect to v in this case. It doesn't really seem to matter which order we do that in. But I still have to figure out my uh, the region that I'm integrating over. And that can kind of be, uh, I think, one of the tricky parts. So let's see if we can't um, if we can't figure out a way to to come up with that. Okay, so we are using the region uh, that, that's got vertices 0, 0, 2, 1, and 1, 2. So I'm going to stick those on there. So here's x, y. We've got 0, 0. We said we're up here at 1, 2 is one of the uh, points, and the other one here is at 2, 1. So the region we're integrating over in the xy plane is this little triangular region. Well, what we have to do is we have to take these boundaries and figure out, you know, if we if we map these boundaries by our original transformations, what new region are we going to produce in the uv plane? And again, to me, this is one of the tricky parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find equations for each one of these straight line segments. And let's see, this first one, let's see, it looks like it has a slope of uh, positive 2. So that would be y equals 2x. And it has a y-intercept of um, 0. So this, uh, this, this sort of left uh, boundary of the triangle is simply the line y equals 2x. 
if we look at this bottom boundary, that's going to be the line y equals, well now this has slope 1 over 2, x, and again a y-intercept of 0. And if we look at the uh, kind of the top right boundary of our triangle, let's see, it's got a slope, we go down 1 over 1, so that's definitely negative 1x. And I think uh, if you just backtrack, you can convince yourself that it, this has a y-intercept of positive 3. So again, use point slope formula or whatever. You know, if you're if you're doing uh, 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 this stuff in uh, Calc 3, hopefully, uh, you know, finding the little line segments isn't too bad. So basically, I have to use these these lines. In this case, they're lines to help me figure out the new region in the UV plane. Okay, so again, maybe kind of the tricky part. So okay, so again we've got x equals 2u plus v, we've got y equals u plus 2v. I'm going to jot these down real quick, y equals 2x, we've got y equals 1 half x, and we've got y equals negative x plus 3. So those are our three line segments that we just produced. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use our original transformations and I'm just going to substitute these in and I'm going to get an equation involving u and v. Okay, so let's see. So again, y is u plus 2v, so that's what I'm going to plug on the left side here. And then we take 2 times the x value, which is 2u plus v. And well, we can simplify. We've got u plus 2v. We'll have 4u plus 2v. It looks like the 2v's are just going to cancel out. Um, we'll have, <clears throat> excuse me, if we subtract u, we'll get 0 equals 3u. So that simply tells me uh, one of the curves I'm going to have to sketch in the uv plane is going to be this curve u equals 0. Okay, so this boundary line, y equals 2x, is getting transformed to the line u equals 0 in the uv plane. We'll have to do the same thing for y equals 1 half x. So again, y is u plus 2v. That equals 1 half times x. x is 2u plus v. So again, if we simplify here, we've got u plus 2v. If we distribute our 1 half, we'll have u plus 1 half v. Um, again, it looks like the u's are simply going to cancel out. Um, you could subtract 1 half. We would get um, or excuse me, subtract 1 half v, we'll get 3 halves v equals 0, and that'll give us the line v equals 0. Okay, so i got to do this one more time here. Um, we've got y equals negative x plus 3, so I'm going to put this, give myself a little more room. So again, y is u plus 2v, that's going to equal negative x, which is 2u plus v, and then we still have our plus 3 left over on the right side. So let's see, this is u plus 2v. On the right, we'll get negative 2u minus v plus 3. And let's see, we can uh, rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite it. Uh, we'll have 3u, it looks like plus 3v equals 3. We could divide both sides by 3. That'll give us u plus v equals positive 1. And when I go to sketch these, um, my x-axis instead is going to be my u-axis, and my y-axis y axis is going to be my uh, v-axis. Okay, so if we put this in y equals mx plus v, I'm going to write this as the line v equals 1 minus u. Okay. So the idea is this original triangular region that we were integrating over in the xy plane that was bounded by these 1, 2, 3 curves is now transformed into a region in the uv plane bounded by u equals 0, v equals 0, and v equals 1 minus u. So u equals 0 would just be a vertical line. Um, v equals 0 would just be our horizontal line. And then if we graph v equals 1 minus u, um, that's going to hit at positive 1 on both the positive v and positive u axis. 
So the new region that we're integrating over is still a triangular region in this case, but it's going to be kind of this uh, triangular region that's bounded by the x and y axis. And again, this curve v equals 1 minus u. All right, so we're almost to the point where we've got it uh, set up. So let's see here. Um, again, we said we had the double integral. Let's see if we can't go back and find it here real quick. We said uh, it was negative u minus 5v. That's what we were integrating over. We said we have to multiply that by the absolute value of 3, which is just positive 3. So I'm going to pull that all the way out front. Again, in this case, we could either, you know, the formula is written du dv. We can integrate uh, with respect to either variable first. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate actually with respect to v first, and then I'll integrate with respect to u next. So now this is where our region comes into it. So if we integrate with respect to v, our lower limit of integration is going to be v equals 0. Our upper limit of integration will be v equals 1 minus u. And then um, our u limits of integration, well, I think what values does u range over? It ranges between 0 and positive 1. And now we finally have our equivalent integral set up that we have to integrate. So I think I'm going to pause here for a second, let all that soak in, um, and then actually just do the integration in a separate video.